Will somebody please cue that boy? Summarize Pizza Cats. Oh, yeah! Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? Summarize Pizza Cats. Right on! They're stepping out crime, and you know that ain't baloney. They're Speedy Serviche, he's the leader of the bunch. That's right! A heck of a fighter ah. makes a heck of a lunch. Oh. And little polyester, who's never afraid of going into battle with the bad guys in vain. Here's Guido Anchovy, a wild romantic rover. This cat gets down, down with a love hangover. Here <laughs> They're so bad, they've got more fur than any turtle ever had. Stronger than old cheese. Stronger than old cheese. Stronger than dirt. Who's lower than low? It's a rotten yeah, yeah, shame. Yeah. He lives in little Tokyo. We've got a nasty bad bird and some nasty ninja crows. As soon as someone finds a script, we might begin the show. Sit right back, kick up your feet, and turn the sound up high. And if you want the full effect, go eat a pizza pie. <laughs> Assignment and you have to guess what it is. Is this some kind of trick question? I heard a big shot's due home today. Is that true? Mm-hmm. And we have to protect them, right? Hmm. So who is it? Some movie star? Princess Vi's mother! Brad Brad has a mother? Oh, this is so exciting! I don't know what to wear! Let's see, she's been gone five years, maybe something casual. I'd better dress up. She may have brought me an expensive gift. We interrupt this tender moment of greed to set the record straight. Empress Frida went away to study other cultures. She did not leave because her husband is a raving lunatic and her daughter would rather shop than eat. The Empress's ship is about to dock. You'll be in charge of security during her visit, understand? Right! Fired one too many times. Is she shooting dummies into the air? Uh, don't bother to answer that. Looks like the friendly skies are filled with more bodies than usual. Al Dente must have snuck onto the launch pad when we cut away for that exterior shot. I should have known he'd find a way to pad his part. Well, two can play that game. We'll blast you out of a cannon. What? You coward, don't you want to be a star? Yeah, but not a shooting star. I want to fall apart after I retire. If we don't get more screen time, you're gonna retire sooner than you think! Why did the Empress go away? Was there some kind of scandal at the palace? Ah, what makes you say that? The Empress simply went away to study other cultures, that's all! She sounds wonderful! Yeah, a real refined lady! An elegant woman of grace and beauty! Not like Polly, you know! Right! I'll bet she's got great manners and never eats with her hands, not like Polly! <laughs> and most important, I bet she never loses her temper! <laughs> <laughs> the pepperoni parade. I can't wait to meet her. I heard somebody say she's a great lady, very noble and dignified. Oh, look, here she comes! Mother! Oh, oh. Hiya, suckers! How's tricks? That's her? What's the matter? Didn't you have anything better to do than come down here and see if I gained any weight? Huh? <gasps> that woman's our noble empress? Mother, it's me, Princess Vi! What? It's my snow. I can't believe it! You've gotten so big! That's right, Mama! Almost as big as you! Oh, 
Oh, really? Okay, then if you think you could take me on, sweetheart, here comes my special flying body attack! Pardon me? Come on, you missed me, Mom! You'll have to be faster than that! I'm not that gawky little girl you used to kick around the palace anymore! <laughs> <laughs> But let's see you dodge this! <laughs> Here comes some more! <laughs> Here's the last one! Bridges not over here, you're going the wrong way! Mama! You remembered what I taught you! Yeah, say please and thank you and kick the other guy before he kicks you! This woman's a complete fruitcake! Why didn't you tell us? Would you have taken the job if I told you the truth? For Rob! You came down to meet me! What a surprise! I thought for sure they'd have you locked up in a padded cell by now! Did you miss me while I was gone? For up, for up, for up! Fred, you're such a cut on me! <laughs> hey, uh, maybe we should do something to protect the Emperor. Hold on, I don't think he's being attacked. If he gets much more of this friendly greeting, there'll be nothing left of him. Now that you mention it, what does this woman see in the Emperor? He's goofy looking, he's demented, he's boring. He's rich! <laughs> oh, brother! Oh. Hey, where's the big cheese? He was supposed to be here to greet the Empress. Well, you're close. What he actually said was he'd be here to greet the ship on which the Empress arrived. Well, what I said was there's something on the ship I need to carry out an evil plot. Monster of the day, will you enter and sign in, please? Here to do your bidding. Command me as you wish, Lord Big Cheese. Yes, the first thing I'm going to want you to do is find the woman who kicked me off the subway the other night. There I was in disguise on my way to the weekly beating of Evil Dictators Anonymous when the train pulled into the main terminal. I'd nearly given up hope of finding a seat when lo and behold a spot opened up. Just as I was settling in, this dame appears out of nowhere and blindsides me. I nearly got trampled to death by that crowd of vicious commuters. Now I'll have my revenge. Let's cut to the chase, shall we? What we have here is a secret weapon. A robot made up to look like a typical shopper in search of a bargain. What Big G's plans to do is hypnotize hordes of real bargain hunters and turn them loose to pillage and destroy department stores in their search for discounts. The only problem with this plan is the robot isn't strong enough yet to pull it off. That's why they're searching the ship. They're looking for a magic crystal that's been smuggled on board. A crystal with great power. You got it, Bob. Is the crystal on board or what? It's missing. <gasps> Don't tell me that. It's got to be there. It's not. Then look harder. Maybe it got knocked out of its hiding place while it was being loaded or when the ship hit a big wave. If you don't find it, there won't be any evil plot in this episode. It's in here somewhere. Ah, there we go. This is a gift for you, darling. To help to me. Very good, dear. Is there something in there for me? Don't move, Fred. Now let me see. I'm sure I brought you something, dear. Oh, I've been looking for that. This is for you, Al. I'm speechless, my lady. Ah! Gee whiz! I'm gonna put it in my living room. We've searched the whole ship. Where could that crystal be? Here it is! Ah! This is the gift you brought for me, isn't it? Hey, wait a minute! How peculiar. I don't remember bringing that. <laughs> it's so beautiful, Mama. I can't believe it! <gasps> Well, you're welcome. <laughs> Seeing her like this shows me a whole new side of the princess. I guess she's not such a brat after all. Hey, pizza base! Huh? You talking to me? Yes, you, Parmesan brain! What? I should have known. Take me to the jewelry store. I'm going to have this crystal made into a necklace so I can wear it all the time. When the boss finds out, he's going to have a fit. <laughs> What's the matter, Pizza Puss? Can't you find the jewelry store? How about taking a 
long walk on a no, short no. plank. Yeah, let's not forget who's the adult and who's the kid around here. <laughs> what a mess! I have to get that crystal back, but if I get too close to the princess, I'm gonna be in a world of trouble. Mom, this is Bad Bird. Uh -huh. He and I are going to get married! Wait a minute! No, no! You two make a perfectly charming couple. Congratulations, darling, and remember, you have to let him know who's going to be the boss in the family. I am, and don't you forget it! No, 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 no! That's a fate worse than death! We'll find another way to get the crystal back. Well, he'd better hurry. They're almost at the jewelry store. Hold on, I'm hungry. I want some peach ice cream with chocolate sauce. <gasps> You'll have to wait until we get back to the palace. I can't wait that long. I want ice cream right now. You hear me? Or I'll have to send you to Prisoner Island. But, Princess, there's no ice cream store around here. Then you go find one, Big Mouth. It's not our job to run errands. Where is the nearest ice cream store? Uh, I think there's one about 15 blocks east of here. We know you'd like to stay in here, Polly, give directions, but we need to point out that the ninja crows are closing in on our heroes. <laughs> 15 blocks, you say? That's cool. <laughs> okay, that's peach for my daughter. And one scoop of raspberry for me. <laughs> yeah! think of it before. This could be trouble. I hope our heroes have their wits about them, or somewhere nearby. Excuse me, your highness. <gasps> <laughs> what do you want? Oh, not much. I've come to ask the princess to return our crystal. Your crystal? Who says so? Oh, it's ours, all right. It was being sent to us on the same ship by which your mother arrived. Somehow it got into her luggage by mistake. I knew I didn't buy that thing. It doesn't matter. She gave it to me. It's mine, and I'm not going to give it up. You'll have to find yourself another crystal. I'll bet you plan to use it in an evil plot. Who blabbed? Huh? <clears throat> of course, we don't expect you to give it to us for free. We'll prepare to make a trade. No, no, let me go. Who trade for him? Sounds like he's all for it. I'd rather be burned at the stake! Don't mind him, he's upset. What do you say, Princess? Is it a trade? Don't do it, Your Highness! Huh? Sounds like a good deal to me! Can I take him home now? Let me go, you're not Princess! Well, I'm glad the plan meets your approval, Your Highness. Please, give me the crystal. Why should I? They both belong to me now! Huh? My girl, press your advantage. I told you this wouldn't work, you idiots. Now look at the mess we're in. Hey, what's that up in the sky? Now's my chance. That's it. I'm out of here. Find some other job. I quit. Hey, what fun. Let's go get him. Huh? Are you with me? Yes, mother. For a man who's getting married, he's got a bad attitude. I uh, think we should go after her. I guess. Um, can I say something? No. I'm losing control here. You'll never catch me. I didn't go through four years of training at the Dirty Crow Academy for nothing. Come back here! You belong to me! <laughs> Just forget it! If they try to climb up here, I'll fly away! Go on home! Gee, Mother, what do we do now? Don't worry, I've got an idea. Oh, 
witch. She knows that when crows say something sparkled and drawn to it against their will, I've got to resist. Got to resist. You did it, Mama. You got him back. Now we can print the announcements. Read my beak. I don't even like you. You'll get over that in a few years. I won't last that long. I give him two weeks. Of course, we'll need a house in the country and one in the city. I think the one in the country should have formal gardens and a pool. Oh, and a tree in front. Something big so the kids can play in it. What did I do to deserve this? You must have been a good boy. Yeah, right. <gasps> Where did it go? <laughs> now that we have the crystal, we'll rule the world. Never. Give that crystal back to me. It's mine. No. Forget it. That's the way, boy. Show that little chitter who she's dealing with. Three chairs for the bad guys. Now I can destroy the city and be home in time for dinner. Spread out! Huh? Where'd they go? <laughs> huh? What's the matter, Bozo? Too fast for you? Maybe you should be fitted for glasses or retire to the old crook's home. Oh, you squeaky clean midgets, I'll tear you apart! My, my, it's very rude to raise your voice in the presence of ladies. You should clean up your act. We'll be glad to help. Our mission is to triumph over evil. So if we hurt you, it's only because we love you. You know you can't ever beat us. We're the stars of the show. Get yes? it? Would you mind taking this crystal? Use it to boost up your power level, then wipe these guys out. Uh-oh, our heroes are in trouble now. With the addition of the crystal, that robot becomes invincible, impregnable, and indestructible. We needed to hear that. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. Did I also happen to mention that she'll be omniscient, omnipotent, and omnivorous? Well, that's neither here nor there. The important thing is, help is on the way, as usual. <gasps> See what I mean, you idiots? The writers will never let us get defeated. Now you're going to have to pay the price for your evil intentions. You may think we're all dummies, but you're wrong. We're acting dummies playing pretend dummies. You can say that again. And now, through the miracle of modern special effects, you're going to see how we transform one of these simple acting dummies into a dynamic superhero. The sun sinks slowly in the west. We say goodbye to Bora Bora. Oops, wrong show. Anyway, now that we've saved the world, we can concentrate on more important things, like who keeps leaving the cap off the mayonnaise jar? That was a lot of fun, dear. It's always fun when you're here, Mama. Are you going to stay for a while? I'll probably be leaving again soon. Why? Why? Because I forgot to get you a gift. Don't you want something from a faraway place? Mm -mm. You're the only present I want, Mama. And so, as the sun continues to sink slowly in the west, we say goodbye to Bora Bora. Okay, so it's not the right show. Still makes a great ending. Ladies and gentlemen, the Samurai Pizza Cat Fan Club Oath! The Pizza Cats are Samurai. And I'd like to note... Their antics take your breath away. Like fur balls in your throat. We kittens are a special breed. We never call retreat. Whenever Big Cheese knocks us down, we land upon our feet. So hail to thee, O oh Pizza Cat. Please ring your little bell. Although you may be pen and ink, we know you'll fight like Pizza Cats! Samurai Pizza Cats. We hope you
you like the show? It's the best that we could do. The Mariah Pizza Cast. If you could do better, then we'd leave it up to you. Just a reminder, you might like to know, the cats will be back for another big show. <laughs>